it's Alex from Risk Academy and today I wanted to talk about KPIs, Key Performance Indicators for Risk Managers. Now I have been asked this question a million times and in my 13 years in risk management I figured out that there is simply no single best answer. So every company must have find something that suits for them. I can only share what worked for me and uh, for me personally I've always divided risk management KPIs or KPIs for the risk manager. It's actually probably the better way of saying it because it's KPIs for risk manager, not KPIs for other executives who have to participate in the overall management of risk. So it's KPIs for the risk manager. And I've always sort of divided it into two sections. The formal ones, the if I may be forgiven the bullshit, um, the bullshit KPIs where um, they're very easily understandable. Internal auditors love them and uh, most senior managers love them as well. But they actually have nothing to do with real effective risk management. They're just, uh, they're easy to comply with. They can be achieved by sitting in your cabinet and in your office, uh, sorry, and not doing much. The formal sort of side and uh, the real the the real sort of meaty um, KPIs that are extremely difficult to uh, achieve so I'll quickly mention on the first category you know having policies and procedures and frameworks integrated having uh, a training performed um, having uh, uh, risk assessments carried out all of those I consider very formal uh, KPIs they d they don't actually give you an indication of how effective risk management is e in reality and the sort of the second category of uh, KPIs that I personally found a, a little more useful and of course they're not ideal and they are subjective in a way but I personally found them working well is the satisfaction um, rating satisfaction rating given by the chair of the risk committee, the chair of the audit committee, the chair of the board of directors and the CEO. So this is, you, you sort of, you get, you know, five A, B's, C, D's or E's or F's and um, you aggregate them and that to me personally, I mean maybe it's a little bit childish, but to me personally that always gave a much better indication whether I am as a risk manager doing a good job because my job is integrating into how decisions are being made at the board level, at the risk committee level, at the internal, at the audit uh, committee level, at the executive level and if I do this well throughout the year then the users, the final users of uh, my contributions to the decision making process will be satisfied and if they're not then it doesn't matter how many trainings I have performed or how many risk assessments I have carried out if they don't get it or if they ignore it or if they don't see value then I personally have thought that I probably didn't do a good didn't do a good job now of course there is sort of the other uh, so this is the second area uh, and I want to wrap up on that but there is another uh, KPI which I also found useful at the beginning of the year I would always uh, come up with some sort of uh, project plan for integrating risk management. I would select core processes, core decision types. I would commit to certain actions, like I would commit to some period periodic training that I would uh, carry out, and I would have a plan of work. And by the end of the year, the percentage of uh, that plan carried out successfully is also a good indication of... Uh, uh, whether the risk management has done a good job or not but it doesn't really give you an indication of how effective that was and that's why I really like that first uh, KPI on uh, um, key executives satisfaction whether they are happy about the services that they have received from a, a risk manager now we've also run surveys on the whole of the company and uh, that was also good that's also a good indication of whether your colleagues, your counterparties, your other executives perceive value in risk management, that's also a good indication. I really would like to hear your thoughts on risk management KPIs, um, any quantitative KPIs for the risk manager specifically that you have in mind, That I would love to hear those in the comments underneath this video. 
and if you want to see more videos like that do sign up to the uh, Risk Academy channel on YouTube for now from me thank you and goodbye